Hello, you're welcome to the news on the hour on ACNN TV. First, the major stories. Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, led by the primate, his grace, the most reverend Dr. Henry Ndukuba, currently holding the 2023 Divine Commonwealth Conference, DIFCON, at the National Christian Center Abuja with the team. What is that in your hand? Taken from Exodus chapter 4, verse 2. Bendel Ecclesiastical Province holds seventh edition of their provincial council meeting where they made calls for review of some government policies. Plus, church honors an extraordinary woman, Honorable Justice Olufun Lola Oyelola Adekeye, a former Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, who is currently the Chancellor of the Diocese of Jeba and a prominent member of the Abuja Diocese. And now to the news in details. The Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, led by the primate, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Henry Ndukuba, is currently holding the 2023 Divine Commonwealth Conference, DIFCON, at the National Christian Center Abuja with the team. What is that in your hand? Taken from Exodus chapter 4, verse 2. The official opening was held with the primate addressing the congregation on the theme and other pressing issues around the nation and the church. Caroline Atumbe reports. Why should we tarry when Jesus is bleeding, bleeding for you and for me? Why should we linger and hear not his mercies, mercies for you and for me? Holding at the National Christian Center, Abuja, with the team, what is that in your hand? Taken from Exodus chapter 4, verse 2, the primate church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Henry Ndukuba, declared the 2023 Divine Commonwealth Conference, DIVCON, open. We enter into this conference by the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare the excellency of the power of His resurrection. By this, we declare the DIVCON Conference 2023 open to the glory of God in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Just stretch forth your hands, stretch forth your hands. Please welcome address the Most Reverend Dr. Henry Ndukuba, appreciated God and all who deem it fit to make the 2023 DIFCON a success. He said with the team of the conference, it is a divine call for the renewed engagement in the mission and purpose of God for everyone's life. God is giving us a fresh mandate to reach out to the nations despite our limited resources all he demands of us is total surrender and submission to him we implore you to be open to the workings of the holy spirit in this conference as he ministers to us individually strengthening our hands encouraging our hearts helping us to rise up in faith and go forth in the power of the lord the lord shall walk mightily among us raising an army for his purpose i draw your attention to the urgency of our response to god's demand a humble, sincere, faithful response will bring healing and transformation, not only to individuals, but to our families and to the Church of God and our nation. Speaking on the state of the nation, the primate advised all not to be discouraged or intimidated, said the Harding groups who reject God and perpetuate corruption and evil shall be overthrown in judgment through the instrumentalist of the church. 
there were goodwill messages from the former primates of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, Most Reverend Dr. Jasper Akiola, represented by Venerable Lushego Akiola, Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas Oku, the Chairman Christian Association of Nigeria, at Bishop Daniel Oku. Brothers and sisters from far and near, on behalf of my wife, it's a great pleasure to welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. In spite of the times, the difficult seasons, you are still standing. And the work of the Lord entrusted to you is going on very well. We are very pleased to say that through the grace of God, the grace given to you to function has not been in vain. So as you have come here, take advantage of this wonderful fellowship so that your spirit will be enriched just as the theme of this difficult says what is that in your hand i believe god is calling us in a time like this to look within us the transformation that we desire out there in the world actually begins with us the so-called politicians and many people out there in the world that we think we can depend on for change god is saying it's no longer from those people that such change will happen yeah brothers and sisters i am delighted to be amongst you dear brethren i urge you to continue to support this program with your resources despite the harsh economic conditions Carolina Chumbe reporting for CNN News. Thank you, Caroline, for that report. And on the state of the nation, His Grace the Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas Oko, a former primate of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, has called upon President Bola Ahmed Nubu to prioritize the welfare of Nigeria's citizens, particularly the youth, to curb the tragic exodus of people attempting to migrate across the Mediterranean. Speaking to journalists in Abuja, Dr. Oko emphasized the need for President Tinubu to make the well-being of the citizens his foremost concern, urging him to take proactive measures to reduce the number of lives lost during these perilous journeys abroad. Before the president came to where he is, he fought many battles. And therefore, he has only one task, and that is to assure the people of Nigeria that his battle is not for nothing. He must make their life comfortable, or at least better than it was. He must make the people his project. The Nigerian people will be his project. Their food, their health, the education of their children, and the exodus of our young people going abroad for beautiful and the ugly should be checked. It's not that it can be stopped. It's not necessary to even stop it. We have a stake also over there. But it should not be at all cost. The amount of people who are perishing in the Mediterranean should be stopped. Whether it's they are from Nigeria or from West Africa, some region, or anywhere. He is a major stakeholder in Africa. And he should work hard to ensure that the amount of black people perishing in the Mediterranean are brought down. And in a profound moment during the revival hour of the ongoing 2023 Divine Commonwealth Conference organized by the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, the Bishop of the Diocese of Jaligo, His Lordship, the Right Reverend Foreman Nedison, delivered an inspiring message to the congregation. He reassured them that despite the challenging and confusing circumstances they might be facing, God has the power to transform their chaos into a meaningful message of hope and purpose. We serve a God that does new things. So God is in the business of making new things. While it is true that we are in a messy situation right now, I would like you to know that God can make a message out of your mess. While it is true that we live in a challenging times, 
I would like you to know that God is processing testimonies out of your challenges. I prophesy to someone hearing the sound of my voice, God will take over your battles tonight. If your amen is the loudest, your testimony begins now. Right, Reverend Foreman Nedison for the made prophetic declarations and the life of the congregations. Neighbor, say neighbor. I don't know about you, but for me, tonight is my night of encounter. The jump up, shout, hey! your neighbor say neighbor I don't know about you but as for me my testimony is already in my hand and elsewhere, as Nigerians still groan over the excruciating inflation rate of the nation's economy, fathers of faith have called on President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to review most of his policies and programs and prioritize the welfare and security of citizens. The Archbishop of Bendel Province of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, His Grace Most Reverend Dr. Cyril Odutemu, disclosed this at the end of the seventh edition of the Provincial Council meeting in Delta State, Southwest Nigeria. Delta State ACN News correspondent Austin Azul tells us more. The seventh edition of the Provincial Council meeting of the Benden Ecclesiastical Province of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, holding at the Christ Church Pro Cathedral, Okbe Road, Sapele, Delta State, with a theme. Consider your ways, a divine imperative to rouse our priority begins with the Eucharistic service, thereafter with the welcome address of the host bishop, Diocese of Sapele, Right Reverend Dr. Blessing Erifita. It is our pleasure having you. God bless you. Like I said, as we thank God for the leadership of the Provincial Council, we are meeting will be very successful. I trust God for who he is. Welcome. Bishops of the 13th diocese under the province, including their delegates, however, proceeded to their various houses to give themselves appraisers and initiate new ideas and policies that would drive the province in the days ahead. And here comes the Archbishop's charge. While ministers of the gospel are charged with the responsibility of paying proper respect to one man, especially those in authority, the scripture charges them in the chief of God's house never to join a multitude to do evil. At the end of the council meeting, the presiding archbishop further briefed the prayers. If we don't consider our ways, we pray that the Lord will not allow what happened to the generations that we are reading their history and the Bible to happen to us. But I pray for them, all Nigerians, we need to pray for them. To do the right thing and what is the right thing that they lead in fairness in truth and justice roll down like waters in the river in the same vein the host bishop erifita who collaborated the archbishop's charge revealed the consequences for nigeria leaders who failed to consider their ways before god and exhibit god's love towards humanity so we also want to let nigeria know that for whatever they are doing that is against humanity, they should consider their way. Especially the leadership of Nigeria, they should consider their way because so many things have been done against the will of God and the wish of God for his people. The devil has used so many leaders to truncate lives, to make life difficult for Nigerians, and of course, surrounding environment. The Archbishop's wife, Mrs. Ufoma Udetemu, also stated the benefits of the theme to the women organization. So, the admonition given to us, the women, is that we should let God take priority over any other thing in our lives. 
rely on God, ask God for direction, and always pray, dwell in Him. The church can only rule and influence the society for God through dedicated men and women like Nehemiah as it was in the rebuilding of Jerusalem. Let us arise in the power of God to rebuild the wrongs of our land, to the glory of God and blessing of humanity. Austin Azu, ACNN News, Sapele, Delta State. Thank you, Austin, for that report. And still to come, a former national president of the Anglican Youth Fellowship, Honorable Joshua Ghana, who transitioned into politics, expressed gratitude to God for his recent victory at the Court of Appeal. The story and others will come your way shortly after this break. Stay tuned. This examination is aimed at something. Spiritual inquest. This, this examination, this spiritual diagnosis you need to do by yourself is aimed at establishing whether you are still in the Christian faith. The faith. That definite article here settles a lot of things. Because today you say, I am in faith. I am in faith. You can be in any faith. There is a particular faith. And the faith you are talking about is the Christian faith. Brothers and sisters, people of God, are you actually in the faith? The Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion presents the Annual National Convocation of Christians, the Divine Commonwealth Conference, DIVCON 2023, daily at 8 a.m. from 6th to 10th November by the power of the Holy Spirit. Participating believers in Christ shall receive and be enabled to utilize God's wondrous powers in the exposition of the theme, What is that in your hand? Exodus 4 verse 2, DIVCON 2023 is a week of exposition, ministration, prayers and transformation led by God's Apostle and hosted by the Most Reverend Henry Indukuba, Archbishop, Metropolitan and Primate of All Nigeria Anglican Communion. Official opening ceremony, Monday 6 November 2023 at 5 p.m. venue the National Christian Center, CBD Abuja, DIVCON 2023. Come and be spiritually empowered to overcome the times. And the Rainbow. Rainbow. Thank you for staying this tuned. You are still watching ACNN News on ACNN TV. For more on our top stories, please visit our website at acnntv.com or our social media platforms on facebook.com or youtube.com forward slash ACNN TV. To be up to date with our news and other programs, download the AVO TV app from Google Play Store and you can also advertise your goods and services on ACNN TV. Moving on to other stories, the Anglican Church on the peninsula in Royal Gardens Estate, Aja, Lagos, was the venue for the November 2023 edition of the Healing and Charismatic Service of the Lagos Anglican Diocese, held on Sunday, the 5th of November 2023. The event team, I Will Deliver You, taken from Psalms chapter 50, verse 15, resonated with the powerful promise of divine intervention. It was led by the Right Reverend Ifedola Senasu Gabriel Okupevi, the Dalsician, and his wife, Mrs. Rosalie Modupe Okupevi. The congregation experienced a transformative session of prophetic declarations. Venerable John Agboro delivered an impactful message, emphasizing faith and fulfillment of divine promises. The service, inspired by Psalm 50, Verse 15, encourage attendees to trust in God's deliverance. Every spoken word was believed to carry the potential to manifest as a testimony, fostering hope and faith among the worshippers. The spiritually enriching event left attendees deeply blessed, anticipating ongoing healing and deliverance in their personal lives and throughout the diocese. The Right Reverend Olua Shion Adirogba, Lord Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Jeba, has issued a heartfelt call to the people of Nigeria, urging them not to lose hope 
in their country, despite the ongoing challenges faced under the current leadership. Speaking with ACN and TV news reporter Charles Philip Wakulam, after a recent service, Bishop Adirogba emphasized the importance of persistent prayers and supplication. He encouraged Nigerians to remain steadfast, believing in the eventual salvation and restoration of the nation through collective faith and resilience. We are just moving from one problem to another problem. I just want them to be patient and to also be prayerful. We are doing too much on this mountain. There is need for us to break the circle. Let's pray that the circle of poverty, of all these problems that happen in our nation, the Lord should break it. Enough is enough. So let them be patient, pray fervently, and uh, to see that uh, we are all part of those people who we bring the uh, that they bring out new Nigerian. Not that maybe we will use our mouth to tear down Nigerian that the Nigeria can never get okay again. We should speak the language of faith rather than condemning Nigeria. And I believe that with God be on our side, this nation will be great and that we all enjoy the benefits. And meanwhile, faithfuls of the church recently came together at St. John's Anglican Church in the Katampe extension area of Abuja to honor an extraordinary woman. Honorable Justice Olufun Lola Oyelola Adeke, a former Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, as the Chancellor of the Diocese of Jeba and a prominent member of the Abuja Diocese. Justice Adeke has played a pivotal role in establishing churches in Abuja. Justice Adeke, one of the founding members of St. John's Church in Katampe Extension, has made substantial contributions to both the local Abuja Diocese and the Jeba Anglican Diocese, where she is the Chancellor. Her 81st birthday was celebrated with heartfelt appreciation for her dedication and immense impact. The celebration was graced by esteemed guests, including Honorable Justice Monica Dongbam Mensam. President of the Appeal Court of Nigeria, and several other justices. Friends from various parts of Abuja also joined the service. And finally, family members also came, making the occasion a truly special one. Mama Adeke has kind words for those who came to celebrate her. So, Baba, thank you very much for making our time to be here. Jesus, you know we do it. I say you go in forever. We are. Thank you, Father Lord, for what you have been using now to do. Not only here, touching lives, touching diocesis. I feel happy and elated to be in a position to come personally and give sacrifice of grace to God for everything he had been doing. Before. I'm very, very happy about it. Sometime ago, about three years ago, I had an operation. I was able to get right. I'm properly healed now. I have a still bit of health and everything is right with me now. And then my children are happy. We are all happy. The family is happy. And regardless of everything that is happening in Nigeria, we can give glory to God because God is there. He's our supporter. He's everything to us. Uh, I cannot but praise God for the rest of my life. I shall continually praise Him for He has been good and greatly to be praised in my life. And for the rest of my life, I will serve Him. And we are praying that everything we are doing in this sanctuary, that God will perfect what He started in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. They are all my daughters and uh, sons in the profession, in the legal profession, and I'm very close to every one of them. And I'm happy they are here, and they are happy too. You have to come and see Mama and uh, celebrate with me. And I give glory to, to God for that. A former national president of the Anglican Youth Fellowship, Honorable Joshua Ghana, who transitioned into politics, expressed gratitude to God for his recent victory at the Court of Appeal. Honorable Ghana has faced a legal challenge after his election 
to represent the Lavu, Mokwa and Edati federal constituency of Niger state with the initial decision overturned by the election petition tribunal. Following a determined legal battle, Honorable Ghana's victory was reinstated by the Court of Appeal eliciting a heartfelt thanks given to God. He also extended his appreciation to the dedicated legal team whose efforts contributed significantly to his successful defense. This victory marks a significant moment for Honorable Ghana and reaffirms his commitment to serving the people he represents. I just want to testify to the goodness of the Lord that he gave me victory during my appeal concerning the general elections of 2023 where I emerged winner. And for a second time the same year, I won my victory in the appellate court. I want to return all thanksgiving to God Almighty for upholding righteousness and justice in my case during these last elections and for serving him and serving the people of Lavum Mokwa Edati Federal Constituency in the National Assembly. By the grace of God, I return all thanksgiving adoration, worship, and glory to God Almighty, and to all the people he used, the team of legal practitioners led by uh, Akinolu Timothy Kainde SAN, and Indayako SAN from Niger State, and also the latest SAN, Jonathan Taidi. All of them worked together, and the Lord blessed their work and made us to win at the party level in the, in the case at the appeal court, and also my federal constituency seat. May God bless Nigeria and bless the people of Niger State as we're going to serve them with a mandate that has been bestowed on us. You're still watching news on the hour on ACNN TV. A quick reminder of our major stories. Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, led by the primate, His Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Henry Ndukuba, currently holding the 2023 Divine Commonwealth Conference DIFCON at the National Christian Center Abuja with the team. What is that in your hand? Taken from Exodus chapter 4, verse 2. Bendel Ecclesiastical Province holds seventh edition of their provincial council meeting, where they made calls for review of some government policies. Plus, church honors an extraordinary woman, Honorable Justice Olufunlola Oyelola Adekeye, a former Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, who is currently the Chancellor of the Diocese of Jeba and a prominent member of the Abuja Diocese. And that's it on the news on the hour. Thanks for watching. I am Rachel Igbunu.